Hey, this is Jen Swift of WellCraftedStudio.com, and today's tutorial is the tips and tricks for finishing your stickers in Procreate. So what I'm going to show you guys is how to make these, and actually they're my Cricut Tattoo stickers, and I forgot to put stickers. <laughs> so they're not tattoos, they're stickers. However, what I'm going to show you guys is how to go ahead and add that backing sheet. I'm going to show you my tip for cleaning up your stickers in a swipe and getting like a really crisp, clear background so you don't have to go back and clean it up at all. And then I have my latest and greatest way for adding the sticker borders as well. So this is even quicker than the ways that I've done it before that were super fast. My husband went and like checked and counted or did the timer thing and it was like under 27 seconds. So I'm really excited to show that to you with you guys. The longer and longer I do stickers, I think it's been three years now, the more and more I find like cool things and tips and tricks. So I threw them all together in this video and I hope you'll enjoy it. Hey, this is Jen Swift of Well Crafted Studio, and I just wanted to show you guys quickly how I finish my stickers. So I have my sticker sheet right here that I like, and what I'm going to do, and everything's on different layers because this is the, the one that I actually created on, so, or that I brought the pieces together in. Um, since I first did these sti stickers, I've actually been doing um, each sticker on its own canvas. It's much larger, and pulling them together into a, cricket or a sticker sheet so that I can use each individual design as a sublimation design as well. Because here, because of the size of the canvas, they're only, I think it, they're like, ended up being like five inches by five inches or something like that, four inches. And so in order to make those bigger, um, I've been creating them separately and bringing them into a sticker sheet. So from here, what I usually do is I go back out to the gallery and swipe left and duplicate. And now I have my duplicated. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and create um, a solid layer. Um, one layer, put all of this together on a layer. And lately, Procreate has been um, crashing when you're trying to do too many layers at once. So because this is a duplicate, let's just see if we can do it. <laughs> now that 5.2 came out, that might not be a problem anymore. And uh, let's see, merge down. Now let's see, flatten and merge down. Okay, so now we have on one layer all of our designs. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and bring in a file. So insert a file. I'm gonna find my rounded edge sticker sheet corners and make it a little bit smaller so it's not cut off at all. And I'm going to bring that down below here. And you can't see it, but it's there. So I'm going to go and grab a white, a white, white. Let's see if I have a white, white, white anywhere. So if you, oh, there's a white. So let's go ahead and drag that over here. For some reason, it doesn't look white up here. So what I'm gonna do, sometimes this happens, um, I'm gonna come up to you, image adjustments to my hue, saturation, brightness. And down here where it says brightness, I'm gonna take that all the way to the max. And now I know that for sure that this is my white, white, white. <laughs> so this way when I print, um, there won't be any like color that tries to print because there's like a light gray to it or anything like that. So, all right. So now what we have here is we have a rounded corner sticker sheet. And I'm gonna go and create another layer. First, I'm gonna pull these down and make them a little smaller because I wanna be able to put a heading up there. So let's just pull those down like so. Kinda keep them in the center. So I'm gonna turn on snapping so I can go ahead and find the center of this. Don't want it to go off the edge. But I do want it in the center. So you'll be able to tell there's a center when a gold line shows up and snaps. Now it's not gonna let me just um, pull it down a little bit because I have my snapping set too high. So I'm just gonna bring it down, turn on magnetics, turn off snapping actually, let's just do that. And now I can just see the blue line there. It's helping me just kind of stay going straight down like that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do and we might have to move that again a little bit later. It might be too far down, but we'll see. 
But now I want to be able to put a heading up here. And so I'm going to choose a color. And let's see. Let's go. I think I have my... I might have a default palette for this, but... Anyways, um, I usually do create a palette for each sticker set, but this sticker set I created a while ago. So let's go ahead and choose... We'll just work with this Mandala one. I'm going to make it my default. So there's a little plus mark here now. And now when I come out here to my disc, there's my Mandala colors. Um, so again, this is all a little bit new because 5.2 just came out today. Um, but now I'm going to go and I'm on layer 3, which is a, there's nothing on it currently. I come up to my transform and I'm going to do a rectangle. Sometimes my pen doesn't work either. And when my, when my pen doesn't work, often what I need to do is either tighten this here, or I need to go ahead and charge it up here. And then, oops, it's only 8%, but it'll, um, it kind of reconnects then. Okay, so I want this to be probably, let's, actually, let's just go with a color that's in here. So I'm gonna come with my eyedropper. And should we take, let's take the purple. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. I've got the purple selected. And I come to my rectangle thing. Let's see if that works this time. And I'm just going to draw about the size that I want the header to be. And I'm going to do color fill. And it filled that in. So now... I want this header to follow the shape of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. I might have got this backwards. Actually, I think I did. Okay. So select the bottom layer. And we don't want color fill on yet. And then you can see here it's got the um, selected everything um, outside of this. I'm going to do invert. So now everything that's inside is selected. And then I'm going to come up here to here, layer 3, and I'm going to do clear. And what that did is it gave me a perfectly cut out to my size header, but it's still on a separate layer. So that's kind of fun. It's kind of a, like a cut that you can do here in Procreate. So now I have this, and I'm going to go ahead and create a text for the top. And let's see, add text. We're going to put, let's change it to white. And we're going to type cricket tattoos. So that's my cricket tattoo stickers. And then I'm just going to, and that looks good. I'm, I'm going to just double check that this is in the center. Make sure my snapping is on. And to get to snap a little bit quicker, I'm going to bring that distance up. And you can do it off the edge here too, and that sometimes will help you see that yellow line a little bit better. And then sometimes it doesn't want to show the, the gold line either, um, because, I don't know, for whatever reason, if I just click this off, this off, and then go back to that. There you go. You can see it. It's almost like it gets distracted by the other things. Okay, so my Cricut tattoos. Now, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and fill that in. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it as is right now. And let's see. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add our border. So I have a new way of doing this. That I It's a little bit different than what I've done in the past. I'm just going to do a little video just of that, but so I'm going to go and duplicate this. So this is like in my super quick borders. We go ahead and duplicate it. We come up to image adjustments. We do hue and then brightness all the way to max. And that gives us a white layer. Now what we're going to do is come up again to image, but we're going to go to Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur. Not really sure how to say that. And right now it's set to zero. So I'm going to take my tip and slide it to the right because I want it to kind of um, 
get a whole like a halo effect like right around my stickers so that looks good so that was about 13 percent so now i'm going to come here to my automatic selections the ribbon tool and I'm gonna tap the background and it's pretty close you can see here where let's tap it again because now that i've adjusted it it's gonna i'm gonna adjust it all the way down to like seven so now when I tap it again, oops, it's going to have that adjusted amount. All right, so that looks really good. It's got a nice border around it. I'm going to go ahead and invert that. And then I'm going to do color fill. So you can see that just fills it right in. So before I would go and grab my, like a new layer, grab my, um, my uh, sticker border brush and fill it all in or with a hard air brush, but if you use color fill, which is the trick I figured out, which I'm super proud of because it was really, I mean, it's, you can literally do backgrounds for your stickers in 30, well, actually I timed it, it's 27 seconds. So before this would take, you know, maybe an hour or so just to go ahead and fill everything in, try to get it smooth and look at how easy that was. So this is maybe a little bit thick for a border. So I would probably have gone back and kind of, I'll. I'll make that a little bit um, smaller border, tighter border, but you guys get the idea. So now we've got on one layer, we've got our image. We've got another layer with our white. We've got another layer with our text, our header, and our back. So these three layers we want on one. So, and actually, and this is going to be one layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and swipe left on or right on both of these and group it. So this is our stickers. Um, then I'm going to close it up and I'm going to swipe right and duplicate because I don't, I still want to have those separate um, just in case there's some, you know, I need to go back and change the borders. But at this point, if I were to be feeling finished, I would create that next group and then I would go ahead and flatten that. So now if I turn this off, I have them all on one border with my borders and everything. So just to show you guys, when you do that um, method of the sticker borders, sometimes with the Gaussian blur and the thresholds right, you know, right, you're going to have a little bit of a, a halo effect. And so what I'll do is just kind of clean up. I'll go ahead and I'll turn off the, co the color fill, do the automatic, click on the background, and look and see that looks really tight now. So just in case I'm gonna four finger or three finger swipe down, do cut and paste. And then actually, can you see that there was a little bit of a halo around those yet? So we removed that by cutting and pasting and putting it on a separate layer. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. And I have an extremely clean sticker sheet. So that's cool. And now I'm just gonna do um, the same here with these three. This is our backing sheet and I don't want these to be um, I don't want these to be Destructive either so I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing where I group it and then I'm going to duplicate the group I'm going to close that one up and like hide it so it's not seen and then flatten this one so at the moment I have my backing sheet and I have my sticker sheet if you take away the backing sheet, you can see that those have that clean, transparent background, the PNG. So there we go. And now I'm just going to come up here and under share, I'm going to go to share layers where it says PNG files. And I'm going to save that probably to my files because then I can open it up in Cricut Design Space and it'll be all ready to go. All right, and that is how I finish my stickers in Procreate. Okay, so what do you think? Was that like the best tips and tricks for finishing your stickers in Procreate video you watched? I mean, I don't know how many you watched, but I think it's there's some really cool tips there. So I was excited to show you guys. Um, I do have a second part of this video that was how to go ahead and finish your stickers in Procreate. And this one is going to be, the next one is going to be how to actually go ahead and Cricut Design Space, and I'll show you guys the printing and cutting the sticker pack you know, paper, the backing. So I think you'll uh, enjoy that. That's gonna be a really super quick one, but it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be good to know. 
um, but it's going to give you guys some really cool professional looking stickers. And yeah, so uh, be sure to check out that tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for new videos and hit that notification bell. And thanks for watching.